with us on the cafe. It is a 10-day extravaganza of entertainment, comedy and fun. From tonight, Queenstown is set to become a true winter wonderland yet again as it celebrates its, the Winter Festival's 42nd year. 42 years! It's insane. It's a lot. Seven days host Jeremy Corbett and comedian Justine Smith are here to tell us all about it. Morning, guys. Morning. Morning, how are we doing? 42 years. Yeah, I started it. When I was what, about uh, 30 or so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good to be here. Thanks for having me. Drink my delicious coffee. Um, okay, well, I'll try to get it back on track. But I'm really nervous, actually. You're nervous? Yeah, I am, because you're one of my favourites. Oh. And Justine as well. I've known Justine for ages as well. But you no, sort of tag that on. I'll take it, I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I know, because I really admire you. I look up to you. Oh, oh no, he's done it again with the age. No, thing, none, of us, good, yeah. none, none of us feel like that about you. <laughs> yeah, no. It's weird. OK, I'm going to bring it back on track. The Winter Festival. So yes. you've been going to it for a while. I have. You're an ambassador for it, essentially, because you've been going so frequently. Friend of the fest. Foff. So what's been go what's going on? What are the, the creepy favourite events? More like the creepy uncle of the festival. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, it, it sort of changed over time, but now it's really the opening ceremony because there's the fireworks and all the rest of it. And yeah. I've got um, two little girls, five and three, that they'll come along, and we've brought Nana along as well. Oh. So we're going to oh. take her along, and hopefully she'll look after them. We'll go along, and yeah, opening night's the biggie tonight. So. Yeah. What do you reckon makes it work, Justine? I think it's the location. I think the fact that it's in the South Island. You mm -hmm. know, so much stuff happens in North Island. There's a Hardcore South Islander. I like going back down there and performing. And it's beautiful. I mean, the environment is incredible. It's really touristy and we just love it. It's a, it's a bit of a elbow out of the way to get, like, on it. You know, it's cool. And, and that's a good thing because when it's cold in the morning, you don't want to get out of bed. No. But, you know, if you've had a big night out, that's perfect, isn't it? Well, you know. Just, just keep going. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> just don't keep go to going. Bed. I love that we talk it up, eh? Hey? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it goes on tour, stays on tour. But at our age, it's more like, oh, a cup of tea. And oh, no, yeah. Don't tell anyone. 10 15. 15. 10 15. <laughs> a three year old and a five year old. Yes. We know what his life is all about. Well, I've yeah. got two cats, so pressure's on for me. Well, it's well. almost mm. exactly That's the right. same thing, really, isn't it? Yeah. Nana could probably look after those. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So there's the a plane. lot of comedy, obviously, at the, at the Winter Festival. Yeah. Yes. So uh, we've got the debate on uh, tomorrow night, Saturday night, uh, is the debate yeah. where we're debating some Aussies about whether New Zealand should become another state of Australia. Oh, that's a good one. It'll be good, yeah. won't it? Yeah. On the back of Brexit and all the rest of it. Oh, so there's going to be more <laughs> arguments about that. And then... Um, Tuesday night, there's a comedy night, and Wednesday night, another late comedy night. Mm. So, yeah, it's a big part of it. And are you two on opposing teams for the debate? Or on I'm the adjudicating. Same team? So, adjudicating. I'm basically on her team. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm for the, well, guess what? No, I don't think we should. I think we should probably stay apart and do our own thing. Yeah. So, it's going to be great. But, it's, you know, it's a comedy debate. So, it's Harley Breen and a couple of other Aussies that we've performed with. So, it's, you know... The neighbours we love yep. to hate, really. The Kiwi team looks good too. Paul Ego and Jason Hoyt. So yeah. it's going to be fun. Oh, oh. Jason Hoyt, he's yeah. a funny man. Isn't he? Just mm. listening to him speak. I know, I can't take it. I mean, I've started enjoying cricket because of him again. <laughs> <laughs> he's got that smooth, buttery voice. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's like oh, yes. It's like yeah. a buttery something, mm -hmm. isn't it? All right, come yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> He's a married man. Ooh. He's a married man. Married, married man's got kids and everything. Yeah, he is. I know, exactly. I know what you mean, though. Yeah, you do know what I mean, mm, don't you? And do. you, you could actually stay here and work if you were looking for a little bit of extra time because you and Jesse, our barista, are really... We were back in my other life. Jesse and I worked together making coffee, which I loved. It was great. Mm. No, no, we didn't suffer fools gladly, though. Some <laughs> came in, they were <laughs> out, they didn't suit us. So <laughs> it's the kind of barista making I like. I can't imagine. Delicious, by the way. I can Wait. see you behind a counter in a cafe, just well, kind of with your arms. Arms folded. Yes. Yes. People yes. coming in, I'd like a coffee. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> well, there's a mock up, that's not a coffee. Yeah, that's yeah. right. There was a reason I don't uh, work in the industry anymore, and <laughs> someone was probably going to get stabbed, so it's a reason I don't do that anymore. So, look, we know that you guys are part of the debate. Yes. yes. Mel and I are going to try and have a debate right now. Oh, look out. Yeah, I know. So did Just you know the two of you? Yeah, yeah, no, but you guys are going to oh. adjudicate. Is okay. that all right? Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> oh, are we? Yeah, but we are. No. What's, what's the moot? Do we um, why we should go to the Queenstown Winter Festival and whoever wins gets to go. Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. Serious? Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Okay. I don't know if they've booked flights. <laughs> okay. We'll find a way. Hang on. In so New Zealand's pretty good. They'll score. Yeah. Yeah. No, why we should go to the Queenstown Winter, Winter, Winter Festival? How long do I have? Can I? Hang on. Wow. Well, well, do we have a bell time. or some um, kind of thing? 30 okay. seconds. I don't need 30 seconds. Wow. I know why I should go. Wow. Which, I'm going to look down a camera, okay? Mm. I'm going to look down okay, that camera there. Why I should go to the Winter Festival by Melanie Homer. 
<clears throat> I should go to the Winter Festival because I love winter. I can ice skate, as has been proven in the challenge that Mike didn't show up to. Like, remember that? Yeah. Who was there ice skating? I was. Mm -hmm. I can also snowboard, although last time I did go snowboarding, I ended up with a bruise the size of a dinner plate on my butt. So I need to go and sort of work on that technique slightly. I also lived in Sweden for a year, so I'm very good at colds. Oh, that's wow. Okay. Wow. Wow. okay, reasons why I should go to the Queenstown Winter Festival by Mike Puddle. It sounds like I'm reading a speech, really, doesn't it? But here we go. More like a Third. second form <laughs> school project. That's what I was aiming for. That yeah. was my, my thing. Yeah, it was really good. Okay, okay, my 30 seconds is starting. Sorry, go. Go. Now, Hurry up. I am from Gore, and that is very close to Queenstown. And I used to go there as a kid all the time and ski the winter fields for 30 bucks. That included everything. I also know what a hoar frost is. Do you, Mel? Do you know what a hoar frost is? Wow. Gorgeous. Mm. Gorgeous. <laughs> and some of my finest friends are comedians. And if I would go there, I would definitely go to all of the comedy events and also get in my undies for the Juicy Undie 500. Ding, ding. Boom! Time. Oh, wow. I sucked, well, for up, me, I okay. sucked up to you a bit. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, uh, Mel, uh, firstly, probably don't go skiing with so much crockery. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You end up with the dinner plates. Um, but to be honest, uh, Mike had it when he said he'd come and see the comedy. I mean, that oh, seemed to be really also, obvious. Also, Mike did get a little bit of a sympathy vote from admitting he was from Gore. That's yeah. true. <laughs> okay, great. Well, thank you, guys. Although, he had yeah. 30 bucks from Gore. He was obviously high class. Loaded. He was yeah, up loaded. a Gore. Okay, loaded. thank you so much for joining us. It's been fun. Uh, so, Jeremy and Justine, uh, have a fantastic fantastic time at the festival. Thanks, it's going to be will. great. And the, Ameri the American Express Queenstown Winter Festival kicks off tonight and it runs through to July the 3rd. So if you want to find out more, go to winterfestival.co.nz. I'll take some photos for you now. <laughs>